I <laughs> wanted to warm up and uh, get rid of that. That was a song uh, by Fats Waller from uh, the 1930s it's called uh, The Jitterbug Waltz. And it's, uh, it's one of the early pieces that, uh, that, that was written in 3-4 time and performed as a jazz song. And thanks. And I wanted to uh, thank and uh, welcome everybody for uh, Thanks for braving the mud and the ice and the snow. And I want to thank Grace Wallace for coming to sing here. And I th also, uh, I've got uh, a beautiful a note before uh, before I came over here. But I want to I want to read it, part of it to you because uh, oops. Let's see if I can do this. I think I can. <laughs> like the little engine yeah. that could. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, I won't read the whole thing, but uh, a friend who's come, who's here, who wanted to hear the music, and he said, "A piano and a singer. Uh, these standards can and will continue to stand on their own forever. A piano and a singer, just the essence of the tunes shown in all their glory. What could be more direct, real, compelling, and sublime?" Choose your own adjectives. So I thought that was really a nice, a nice uh, note. So uh, and the nice made me um, consider what we're doing in a, in a kind of different way. Hey, that uh, made me. Uh, it, it is nice to just have a, a piano and a singer. I'm used to being here with uh, other instruments, and it's. Um, but it does get right down to. Uh, you can't hide. There's no less places to hide. And uh, I wanted to thank uh, Grace Wallace for coming and. Um, subjecting herself to this routine and uh, feel uh, grateful we're going to sing some songs I guess there's uh, American um, they're not really they've become like art songs but a lot of them didn't start out that way they started out as, as um, songs from Broadway musicals and they became art songs over over the and some of them were written just you know just for uh, almost like a, a jazz ballads and some of them really pop and were written as for commercial reasons, and as we go through the things, we'll uh, 
both of us will say something or other about them. But we're going to start off with, uh, do you want to say anything to start? Or so, so I just sort of... Okay. This is called I Want to Talk About You. Sincere, and my 
my darling, you needn't ever think I love you. And I want to talk about you. for coming. Um, it's yeah. such a pleasure to be here yeah. and to um, make some music for you with this amazing man who I've had the pleasure of, we've been making music for over two years I think I now. Think yeah. um, how did we meet? We met at the Skunk Hollow when they were still doing music right. yeah. a long time yeah. ago yeah. and Peter Concilio who plays here a lot, the bass yeah. player, said you just have to meet Sonny. You have to meet this man and he was right and we started uh, doing music at that point just sort of casually getting together and playing and I think pretty much all of the songs we're going to do for you are ones that Sonny said to me oh you've got to learn this song most of them so so much of this repertoire is what you have introduced me to um, which has been so incredible for me um, because they're some of my favorite songs now that's great, thanks. So yeah. it's been a real honor to work with, yeah. with you, and it's just lovely yeah. to, to be here and, and, and to sing for you all, so yeah. thank you for having me. I, um, I was born and raised in England, and I was actually a pianist my whole life, classical piano and flute. Um, I've only been singing for the past three or four years. So um, jazz is new to me and singing is new to me, but um, it's my new passion. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I pretty much stand here and just gawk at his playing <laughs> most of the time, yeah. like you all, I'm sure. Yeah. Likewise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. this next tune. Yeah. T for two? Is, yeah, it's called cool. T for two. Yeah. I guess one of the nice things about these songs, like the uh, I Want to Talk About You, is um, it, that was done by uh, Billy Eckstein as a as a, a romantic uh, ballad, and but al almost all these songs that we're doing, they're um, one of the great things about them is you can do them different ways, and this one T for two is um, I don't even know where that's from. It's from a Broadway show. King yeah. and I. You know which one? King and I. T for two. T for two is from the King and I. Really? Yep. I did not know that. Thanks. <laughs> I I'll bet we do it differently than in the movie <laughs> or the show.
Heartwrencher. I think Sarah Warren is yes. we used to listen to for this version when we were learning this one. This is called April in Paris. April in Paris, yeah. I just looked this up and it was written by Vernon Duke. Yes. In, uh, in the, yeah, in the 1933. Thank you. 
See those chestnuts in the sun All the day tables Under the trees April in Paris Is this just a feeling That no Tell, because he's really let rip today. <laughs> I'm enjoying the sounds of it. <laughs> yeah. No, it's nice to have the piano tuned. It was really kind of awful. And, uh, <laughs> you have to restrain yourself so you don't play too many harmonies, and now it's uh, the harmonies are rewarded. Yeah. So, uh, uh, the man I love, or is that uh, Waltz for Debbie? Waltz for Debbie? Oh, yeah. I enjoyed some of your monk isms. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I was uh, complete. Show them which yeah. monk one. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah. <laughs> April in Paris. Love that. Yeah, that uh, somehow it works. Yeah, yeah. it does. It's, uh, I think it's okay to steal from so. Polonius Monk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is uh, Waltz for Debbie is uh, a song by Bill Evans. It uh, was written in the early part of his career before he was an established player. And it was written for his niece, uh, whose name was Debbie. And it's uh, gone through lots of, uh, it's become a jazz standard. And probably uh, lots of people play it in all, all sorts of situations. And it's, uh, I think it has a beautiful lyric. And uh, I hope that uh, we don't, uh, I don't burst into tears uh, while I hear it. <laughs> but it's always, uh, I always think it's, it's a great lyric. I will. <laughs> She goes, they will cry as 
songs. Now we're going to do The Man I Love. The Man I Love. And, uh, I look, this is the uh, oldest song that we're doing to this. It was written in 1924. So it's really, uh, it's almost 100 years old, this song. <laughs> and, it, and it looks, it was from a musical called Lady Be Good. Like George Gershwin, of, of course. Yes. <laughs> okay. Say a word. 
Still I'm sure to meet him someday Maybe Tuesday will be my good news day He'll build a little home just meant for two From which I'll never run What would you tell all else of war? Waiting for the man of Get the same tempo? Yeah. All right. I'm old fashioned and I love that moonlight. I love the old fashioned things. The sound of rain upon my window pane. Fancies 
sings and sang, sighs, holding hands, is my heart on this dance. I'm old fashioned, but I don't mind it. It's how I want to be, as long as you agree to stay old fashioned with me. I love that moonlight. I love the old fashioned place. The sound of rain upon my window pane. The starry skies that April brings. This year's fancies are passing fancies and sight signs. Holding hands is my heart understands. I'm old fashioned, but I don't mind it. It's how I want to be. As long as you agree to stay old fashioned, stay old fashioned, stay. Yeah, thanks for giving us a chance to play these songs. It was really, uh, really, uh, great old songs, and it's good to play them again. Uh, smoke. Smoke. That's and this is question. another one of these ancient tunes, Smoke Gets In Your Eyes. And uh, I guess I didn't really find anything about this, but I bet this maybe is even the oldest song. This is also, also Jerome Kern, I think. Is it? That sounds yeah. right. What, what question? Sonny, I have a question. Do you play these songs differently every time you play them? Yes. Yeah. 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 And uh, not always better. <laughs> but to take, uh, try to take some chances and try to get it uh, to be a, a good way. And and, uh, and it's always different with uh, with a different person who you're playing with. And and you know, when you know when Grace starts to sing, I start to play in a little bit different way than I would would be playing. So that's, uh, that's always uh, terrific fun. Yeah. So smoke gets in your eyes. We're going to do it. Can usually... I say one thing? Oh, good. Um, yeah. Yeah. Were you about to say, how do I know when to come in? Yes. I think oh, good. one of the things I love <laughs> about singing with Sonny is he challenges me so much because his timing, um, he doesn't, he's not extremely uh, he doesn't imply the timing very strongly. He likes to be kind of fluid with the, the timing, which I think is really fantastic. Yeah. Um, and he's constantly throwing in fresh and doing like an elastic band with the, with the tempo, which I love. So I have to try really hard to just go through the song in my mind while he's soloing so that I know where we are and so that 
he doesn't need to right. worry about me being lost. And it's taken me a long time to be able to do that. And I've come in at the wrong time many times. <laughs> um, but that, awesome. So that's what I do, is I just sing through the song in my head so I know where we are. And then so he... No, that's a good question. And it's sometimes I, I sing through the in my head too while I'm playing to try to keep a place because you're not playing the song all right, so it's like doing two things at the same time, you know, that where you keep the thing in your head but don't do it. And we do that in conversation sometimes when we speak well. I think we think something, but we're really saying another thing. You know, we keep, uh, we're, we're anticipating what's going to be said next. So smoke gets in your eyes. Good analogy. <laughs>
you do. We'll keep going. Yeah, keep All right. going. All right. <clears throat> this is called a foggy day, and I love to throw this this tune in because um, there's not many tunes about England <laughs> <laughs> jazz idiom <laughs> or many English composers. Yeah. So it's always fun for me. And I like the mention that. of the British Museum in a yeah. song is fun. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I was just reading about this song too. That it was written uh, in the in the source that I looked at. It was written for a, a musical, and it was written like after dinner with uh, George and his brother Ira had, uh, wrote the song. In they said like in an hour after dinner, and they didn't know it was anything special. And but it was picked up years and. Other people picked have been still playing like us. We're playing it now, almost a hundred years later. So he, if he hit something that that afternoon. <laughs> Round midnight. Round about and midnight. I I first heard this this tune. Um, Ella Ella Fitzgerald was the first version I heard, oh, and yeah. I just fell in love with it. Yeah. It was like this haunting, 
uh, tune I just couldn't get out of my head. And um, I was playing with friends at the time, mostly just kind of you know amateurs, uh, musicians. And I, I brought this to them, I, I really would love us to play this tune. And they all just, oh, I don't know if it was the changes or what, they, mm. they just, they couldn't, they, they didn't want to do it. They found it too hard. And I was so sad because I just loved it so mm. much. Yeah. Um, and it, I felt like lots of musicians felt that way about this tune, that it was just really difficult yeah. and changes were really hard. And I brought it to Sunny, yeah. and he was like, oh, I love that tune. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Let's do yeah. it, which is usually yeah. your attitude towards anything. <laughs> Thank you. I, I thought I have, I wanted to, I still wanted to start a movement to make this uh, the national anthem. <laughs> of, uh, to, to replace the boring one that we have currently in a, uh, in a way of reparations or something. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I get to go first on this. Yeah. Thank you. 
needs mending Does he believe that our love is ending? Oh, I need you Lately I find I'm out of my heart and I'm out of my mind Memories always start At every basketball game they played at, and it's like the Super Bowl. Get the competition going. The other song is really hard that everybody does, the uh, Star Spangled yeah, Banner. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's time for a change, it's, isn't it? And it's full of bombs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. But it's beautiful. Now, uh, Jimmy Van Heusen is an American composer who. Uh, I forget what his name was, but I just read about it. he he re sort of invented himself as a he, he was from New York and immigrant family, and then he uh, he picked the name Van Heusen because it was uh, the shirts of Van Heusen, and he wanted he had this uh, uh, he had a, he did just what he wanted to do. He had a brilliant Hollywood career, and he and he, he loved uh, hanging out with the uh, stars, and and he just could write swinging melodies that uh, are still fun to play. And rich, rich harmonic changes. And it's a great American character. Um, uh, so let's see, how do we do this? <laughs> um. That would be just beautiful. 
love is funny Oh, it's sad Oh, it's quiet Oh, it's mad It's a good thing Oh, it's bad But beautiful Beautiful Love is tearful, oh it's gay, it's a problem, oh it's play, it's a Sure, sure. Should we do? If you do, you want to do that one? Your choice. Yeah. How's we'll everybody do doing? September. Yeah. Sept okay. Is that all right with everyone? All right. The last one. Okay. Well, before you start the last one, um, I just want to thank you all again for coming, and it's just been. Yeah. yeah. Please, a round of applause. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I had a good time. Yeah. Thank you. Thank it was you really so fun. Much. Yeah. We hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. Yeah. And this uh, this last yeah. tune is called September in the Rain. <laughs>
I say it all the time, it's always true, and that everybody, every person that's here makes a big difference to us. And, uh, for, and it gets multiplied because we have the uh, Woodstock Community TV. So thank you for that, too. And uh, that's it. Everybody can uh, thank you, especially Grace. It was really fun to, to uh, hear you sing and play uh, in this extended way. And we hope we do it lots more times. So, thank you.